Why do we have the subsidiary books? When we discuss the format, when we discuss the posting, we will understand that there is a lot of saving of time. There is a lot of saving of time. We will understand that better when we see the format and the posting. But one of the advantages of the subsidiary books is that there is division of work. We could have the somebody in charge of the purchase journal, another person in charge of the sales journal and a third person in charge of the cash book. This way, the work gets divided. Each person, each accountant, each uh, person who is in charge of the respective book has expertise in that and is the whole entire accounting process could become more efficient. Like I said, there is saving of time because there is a slight some amount of duplication of the entries is avoided. Because what happens is when we prepare a journal and then post from the journal to the ledger, there is the same, it is as if the same job is being repeated twice. Some amount of this work can be avoided by the preparation of day books. Again, details of the same kind of transaction can be got in one place. We look at the purchase day book. We know the entire details of the credit purchase is available. Entire details of credit sales would be available in the sales day book. So, the same kinds of transaction in one place. Since, the, since there are separate books, when the trial balance does not agree, it sometimes becomes easier to locate the errors. There may be errors in posting from the purchase day book and once that is located, we need not look any further. 